My you, brother, how you, are you, man? You look, you got more chestnuts makeup, I see. You look good, man. <laughs> I'm like, what, what is the best man doing the interviewing, mother <laughs> You know, I'm never forgetting that. I need y'all to clip that so I can put that on my Instagram later, okay? Now, what's your biggest takeaway from Tuesday night, Dia? Um, I think uh, that we are far more powerful than people give us credit for, and I think that that's what people are scared. The people are, like, I think at a certain point, democracy was always a, it was always a fragile proposition because it, it needed principled white men to do the right thing at the right time, and we're all the principled white men. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever had them? I mean, but in the in the end, there would be this men that would go that, that they care more about the tenets of the Constitution or yeah. you know more about the country itself, and now they're they're the people they can't look past their own interests. When 88 percent of evangelicals voted for a man like Herschel Walker's, everything they hate about black people. He's he's he raises children, doesn't take care of them. He lies. Uh, he, uh, he 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 he's. he's Incompetent, he's mm -hmm. ignorant, and so he's everything. But yet, people that love Jesus love Herschel. It's crazy. Well, well, I think it's not. I don't even think it's about Herschel. I think it's about the Republican Party. Yeah, right. Because right. they know that whoever they put in that seat gonna do what those other Republicans exactly. want them to do. Whenever this is, I'm, I'm not even a slight. It's not even about a political ideology. When white people from that party love black people, it's because they're obedient. Yeah, yeah. It is. You, you never. They never pick remarkable black men. <laughs> none, of, none of the black men they've ever dealt with will ever be famous for anything. Like if Clarence Thomas is unrem if he didn't Ben Carson. Ben, well, uh, in, it, in his it, profession, in his profession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but politically they're unremarkable. They're not gonna get a school or a stamp or a street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. None, you telling me Tim Scott not gonna get a street in no, South Carolina? No. The, 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 that dude, you pick they, they pick black people the way most people pick pick dogs for obedience. <laughs> like I'm, I'm telling you, you didn't pick Herschel Walker because you wanted your kids to be like. Yeah, yeah. You, he wasn't well spoken. He didn't espouse it. He didn't have a good command of the issues. You picked him because he was gonna do what the f you said. I, I agree with that, but I don't think if it's, I don't think it's just a race thing with the Republican Party because any person that's a Republican in any of those seats gonna do what no, the no, party says. No, no. Republicans always. When you're a line. big black man, you better be obedient. Mm -hmm. It ain't. No, no, it's not even irrespective of that. When you're a big, strong black dude. We don't need your strength. We need your compliance. We need yeah, for you yeah. to do what we say. So his aesthetic, of course, he looked like a Greek god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he has to do the the the, the principle, the contract we have is you gonna do what we tell you to do, and you're not gonna ask no questions. And the reason they didn't vote for Stacey Abrams is because black women are hard to control. Tell I've been married to one for a long time. <laughs> they will not. No one. We're not trying to control. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if control is the right word, do you? Yeah, it is the exact <laughs> fucking word. Yes, yes, yes. It's exactly what I like. Let's to talk do. about it, though. What do you think scares white people in Georgia about Stacey Abrams, other than the fact that, you know, she might be hard to control? She's scared. She's scary. Okay. She's everything that represents progress and a change. When you look at the, the most educated segment of our society, it is black women. Mm -hmm. the, the most, uh, that's not for applause. <laughs> They, they, they That's seem, a statistical fact. They, they, they seem to have this grip on both what has happened and what can happen. When you took, she made Georgia blue. That's right. So that's a very powerful thing, and she's a powerful woman that you can't tell what to do. You can't intimidate her, you can't frighten her. I'd rather pick people that I know at least I can have some semblance of control over. Yeah. You, you spoke to President Biden uh, on Election Day, right? Uh -huh. And he said democracy is on the ballot. I don't know why they keep saying that, because it, 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 it understates, I think, what is actually of, happening course, in this of country. Course, of course, of course. We're on the fast track to of fascism, course. right? But isn't he the president? Ain't he the person who can protect us best? What do you, what do you think well, of the I, job I, he's been doing? Uh, yeah, I, I think that when you look at um, the fact that, um, you know, I remember when everybody made a big deal when Trump let Kodak Black and Lil Wayne out. Mm -hmm. this, <laughs> Biden freed the block from weed, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, there are things that have happened that I never thought would. I never thought a president would say, these. if you have a simple marijuana possession, uh, that, that, that'll that be expunged. I never thought... The I, only problem with that, though, is that there's nobody locked up for simple marijuana possession on a federal level. Uh, uh, no, but there are people that are... See, I think that most like like most anything else, it is the gateway. <laughs> it's the gateway to to having m most states deal with this and kind of make it mm -hmm. a non-issue. I never thought I'd see anything on climate. I never thought anybody would give anything to students at all. So I think um, I've seen things, and particularly with the with the di limitations he had in the Congress and Senate, I think he's done some things I've never legislatively thought possible. So you think he's doing a decent? I do. Okay. I do. I do. Now, uh, we had the good brother Donnell Rollins here last week. <laughs> and he said he wanted Herschel Walker to win. Right. Because it's good for comedy. Right. How do you feel about that? Because you are a concerned U.S. citizen, but you're a comic still. No, but I, I don't need that kind of comedy. Like, I, like, 
like people do shit to me every like like when white people got mad that the Little Mermaid was black. That was, I mean, I'm like, if you throw that many <laughs> overboard, it's bound to be somebody black down there. Somewhere. <laughs> if you look hard enough, I bet it's the Popeyes. I bet, I bet it is. And where did that crab get his hair done at? If you know what I'm saying, you can't. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you need. I think. I think it's more sad than anything. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't. That's like wearing tight shoes, so you feel good when you take them off. <laughs> now you said that the idea of America. Oh, well, you gotta explain that now. Cause I got. You know, how, like I would. I would. I would never wear the tight shoes, yeah, but yeah. for so long. Women will. Whoops. They will. <laughs> and there, I bet it's a woman here with a pair of tennis shoes in her bag right now. <laughs> Cause she got the tight Cause shoes she on got, just for the look. Got, she got to look dope. Yeah. yeah. Now, now you said that the idea of America is opposed to the reality of America. Break that down for the. People. Well, when you read the history and the story of America, it's told mm -hmm. through a particular prism, and it's a great place to visit. But when you see the reality of it, the problem with America is that it can't hold up to Google. It can't hold up to truth. Like we arguing yeah, about, yeah, yeah. you know, the national anthem and, and a stanza down where it talks about killing. Yeah. So it's it's. America was set up to be a certain way. It was unassailable and couldn't be challenged. But facts challenge what we know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and when you see, it's like, you ever seen a hotel, like you're gonna book and it's look great on the internet and you get there, you're like, what the f is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's America. Yeah, no, I agree with that. And you know, it, you think about when, how they built America, you can't really build a country for all when all is not at the table at the exactly. original planning of it, you know? Like you right now, we're all creating eight. You give me some tea. Uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, like, absolutely. Do you see what you're doing? I get it.